Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're at St. Germain Lodge, ice fishing with our good friend and guide, Rob Manthai. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, oh, oh my God! It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing! Who do you got? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'll tell you what, folks, I really never get a break in the weather when I, when I come up to Vilas County. We actually arrived last night, and it was 5 degrees. We woke up today, it's 23 degrees, but it's damp, southeast wind and snowing. Yep. It go, I mean, look back last year, May, you know, it was beautiful weather. You know, the one weekend you come up, it snowed. Right. It rained. Yeah. It was... 34 degrees. Cheers. Well, let's let's talk about the fishing <laughs> because we're going to do a, a potpourri today. What you're doing is setting tip ups uh, on structure and off structure, mostly on grass and rock. And uh, this everything swims in in this area, right? Yeah, there's. I mean, what we're going to be targeting here is a little bit of everything. Like you said, we could be catching some bluegills, some crappies, perch, walleye, smallmouth, you know, pike. I mean, everything everything in the lake is using this stuff. What's fun about this too is you are actually guiding today. You got Mike and Dylan from Illinois up to fish with us and Blake of course is here and Kenny Jackson better known as Jocko. So uh, we can set a bunch of tip ups and we should also jig too. Right yeah moving around you know is a lot easier now than how it had been. I mean our slush is hardened up. Right. You know that's what's unfortunate. Our conditions are great and you know the bite's been kind of up and down but when we had all the slush you know a week ago it was like the, the fish liked it you know yeah. it was weird but so we'll you know fun. oh yeah yeah we'll, we'll you know, at least right. you know i got brats for you so hey folks the show <laughs> over using and how we're using it all of that coming up right after this the Amsoil fishing report for february is now available with awesome information with all the guides all over the midwest along with all this great information you have a chance to win an Amsoil sweatshirt signed by john gillespie and an Amsoil hat and a $50 Amsoil gift card. To enter is simple. Just like this post and tag three of your fishing buddies. Good luck, everyone. Hey, folks, you can win this all new 2020 Yamaha X2 XTR. This is the same machine that we use on the show. Of course, we depend on Yamaha ATVs and side by sides to get us where we need to go to catch fish. Now you have a chance to win this one for yourself. This XTR Edition Wolverine is ready for extreme adventure with a factory installed worn winch, special edition paint, color matched wheels, and aggressive GBC Dirt Commander tires. It's really easy to enter. Find the link on our Facebook, Instagram, or website. Good luck. My favorite series of hubs, the Clam C series shelters work best for us. Hey, what's our favorite ice sub shelter? The X series from Clam Outdoor. Yeah. Choose the hub shelter that's right for you at Clam Outdoors. Pursue the ice. Yeah, that's a big mark. You got it. There he is. There nice. he is. That's cool. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, oh, look at that. Hold that out. That's that a beautiful crappie. That is a beautiful crappie. crappie. Wow. I'll tell you what, folks. Uh, while the tip-ups are set, I have been yeah. moving all around a rock bar out here on the edges yeah. and marking a few fish. That's a beautiful crappie. Yeah, I think the deal today is moving around because it's been kind of slow, heavy winds, cold temp. So I think we have to move around. Well, that's what I've been doing, and yeah. you're not. You don't even have a fishing rod in your hand. Well, well, I'm gonna get one now. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a nice crappie right there. If we yep. can find a mess of those, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Nice crappie. I'm coming, Rob. I'm coming, buddy. I just got a nice crappie jigging out there, man. Oh yeah. A real nice crappie. Yeah, about a 12 incher. And Dylan's got. Let's see. Hopefully a walleye or a small mouth. Ooh, 
Nice oh, walleye. Oh, oh. There you go, buddy. Nice job. Now, where are you from? Uh, Central Illinois. Central Illinois. Well, welcome to Wisconsin. You're a Bears fan? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, you poor guy. Well, hey, hold that walleye out. I mean, that's a real nice fish right there. And, and that's that's the good eater size, Perfect. right, Rob? Exactly. And what is that, about 16? Yeah, we ate 16 and a half, something like that. But yeah, that's a beautiful eating fish. Nice now, male. I got to ask you, when you're setting your beaver dam tip ups, and, and you know, we got a rock bar over here, and we got sand grass over here, how far off the bottom do you set your tip ups normally? Well, it's going to vary on bottom. Where there's grass, you know, you want to set a foot above the grass. So right now, we're doing that about three and a half, four feet up. On the rocks, anywhere from from, you know, a foot to 18 inches. Rob, Rob, I got something here, Rob. Come on out here, Rob. What do you got, Dad? I don't know, here he is. Yeah. Ooh, walleye. Ooh, there we go. Walleye, hey, Walter. Hey, hey. You got a walleye. You know what Blake did? Really, we came out here and just drilled a ton of holes, and I'm just moving around hole to hole, Rob. Yep. You know? Does, and, and the tip up is, I'll let this one go, right? Yeah, that one's a little short. Okay. But uh, the tip ups, you know, are great, but jigging's fun and, and just dig a bunch of holes and just keep moving, huh? Well, we've been doing that with everything here today. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to anything. And, and you know, the patterns that we had are not happening at the moment, but, you know, let's we'll just keep moving around and we might have to, you know, move over there in the afternoon. Yeah, right. But I'll tell you what, I'm marking enough fish to keep me interested, and that's what's cool. And that Blake w was right on the bottom. Oh, you know, wow. I, yeah. he, I was jigging about two feet off the bottom. Him, yeah, and I couldn't get him to come up, so I went down to him. Yeah, as soon as I hit the bottom, he hit the bait. We're coming. It's late. We got a plague up here. We got a plague up. Woo! Right, go. What do we have here? I don't know. We got Mike. All right, Mike. Come on, Mike. Let's Save see the show here, it? buddy. And we have. Ooh, ooh down there. that's a nice wall. There Walter. is a nice wall, Mike. Nice that's, job, buddy. Thank you. Hey, where are I you from, man? From yeah. Lincoln, Illinois. Lincoln. Are you, Lincoln. And you, uh, what is it? Lincoln. Lincoln. Okay. Lincoln. And you are a Bears fan. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, well, you know <laughs> At least uh, you know the Packers did a little bit better this year than the Bears. But uh, hey, well, he's got the biggest fish. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and you know that's interesting, Rob. Point to the those cold water warts on that fish right there yeah. and if you can explain what those are to the folks at home that's just a virus right yeah it's nothing worried you know about the fish that just happens when it's cold out and you know you'll sometimes see that stuff in april like on green bay and all that right right but then come may when the water i don't know what the actual temperature it is but once you know they get to a certain yeah extent, point to them away. again so you folks know, would right, know what we're talking right about and that does no harm at all folks to the flesh on the fish oh, at God, all. No, no. and uh, those fall off when the water warms up but yeah, yeah that very reminds you that it's winter hey here we go folks i got another this does not feel very big uh let's see a uh, decent walleye you know what's really interesting folks and i'm using that uh cast master that rattling cast master and i'm actually tipping it with uh wax worms but uh earlier today when i was marking these fish i'd try to get them to come up and to come up on on the hummingbird what i'm doing now the last two walleyes i've caught i've gone right down to them and bounced the bottom so what those fish are doing is pinning that bait against the bottom and then they're eating it but they're not coming up today dad fish hey, rob we're fish coming, we're coming fishy fishy hey, let's see we've been catching a lot of small pike so I that's what i hope this is I'm, a walleye you think it is i hope so oh, oh yeah, there we walleye. go Hey, nice little Walter. You know, we, you know, east wind is not a fisherman's friend, is it, Rob? Not usually, no. Yeah. No, and we've got quite a few tip-ups set out today. And uh, what are we about? We've been out here about four hours. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and you were on this particular lake a couple of weeks ago and just smoked them, huh? Well, it was a different day, yeah. Yeah, but right. I mean, you know, we we don't get those days anymore, John. No, it was. It's, we're on a good spot. We, You know, we're going to have this little trickle of action, but I bet you we'll see a good window before dark. Dad, I got one on. All righty. My first one jigging today. Well, we aren't catching a lot of no, fish. No, not today, but that's okay. Oops, here, let me get this untangled for you. You can't you. catch a bunch every day, right? There you go. Right? Okay. 
and it's been tough conditions weather-wise. Let's see. Ooh, a little Ooh. waller. Yeah, there you go. Been, they've been oh, liking so that you, cast master. You've been putting the rattle cast master on. Yep, that little rattle in the cast master adds that a little more noise to that shiny cast master. You know what? We need three more inches for that to be legal. That's yep. about a, That's a teeny. Uh, 13, 14. And it's got to be 15? Got to be 15. All right, well, I'll try again. The sky. We were fishing the lakes of St. Germain, Wisconsin, a four hour drive from Milwaukee, five hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. Folks, here's a couple of important facts that you should know about Eagle Claw hooks. Number one, Eagle Claw is the only hook in the world made right here in the USA. Number two, American workmanship guarantees innovation, and we've been doing it since 1925. Number three, Eagle Claw's in-house superior technology builds Eagle Claw, Laser Sharp, and Trocar brands. <laughs> Look at the size of that yeah. fish! All right. Oh my gosh! Fish get hooked on Eagle Claw. So should you. The Castmaster drop chain. We took the original Castmaster body and add a two inch dropper chain to it. When you're rocking the cast master side to side and get the chain swinging, tipped with either a spike or a minnow head, it's a deadly combination. Check them all out at acmetackle.com. Len Groom from Amsoil here, and we're talking about diesel fuel additives. Many people ask me, does Amsoil have product for diesel fuel? Well, we do. And today I want to talk about our all-in-one additive. It takes care of everything that you need in one dose. It cleans, it lubricates, it boosts your cetane, and it also keeps the fuel from gelling up in the cold. So you take care of basically all the needs in one dose. Check out the back of the bottle for the proper dosage for your tank. And for more information on any of our fuel additives, check out amsoil.com. Over time, there's always been this game of nip and tuck with professional shallow water guides balancing weight with power. With the new 140 G2, now I have an inline three cylinder that will still allow me to float in less than 10 inches of water. The bonus is, is I've got all the power and torque I want now, and I've got way more speed than I deserve. There you go, Robbo. Oh, All right, buddy. Too. We got flags popping Woo, now. We got flags. Oh, oh, there my. you go, Blake. That's a beautiful That's walleye, Rob. That's a bigger Rob. built one. And you know what's so dang interesting is we went through some really long lapses today without yeah. catching anything except little pike. But that's walleye fishing, especially up here in northern Wisconsin. You know, it's a timely deal. Yeah, I mean, this has been one of those kind of weird winters. I mean, the, the windows are sporadic and, you know, it's, it's weird how, you know, we'll have five or six tip ups that have a foot and a half a line out and a yeah. drop. And then you get one like this that's, you know, gut hooked. Yeah. And it, you know, and it's just some fish are more aggressive, but we're getting to that bewitching hour right now. Yeah. And hey, boy, that's something else, man. You go, like I said, that long period of time. Yeah, I said we're getting in that, that hour here where everything Ooh, can start. Another up. Wall, another another right. walleye, yeah. And you know, the limits are really different up here too in northern Wisconsin. Anywhere you go, you read the lake sign or is it more uniform now? No, you still got to pay attention to the lakes, John. I mean, yeah. some of them, depending upon lakes and, and uh, you know, the genetics of the fish, you know, some have the, the minimum of zero, you know, with the maximum. and Some have a 15 inch limit okay. um, with, you know, slots and so right. on. So everything posted at the landings and that's what you got to check before you go out. Kind of interesting, a long day and then all of a sudden. Was, yeah, all of a sudden this last hour. <laughs> well, hopefully you can catch eight more, right? Let's hope so. Yeah, hold them up. I mean, that that's a, what is that about? Probably just right around at that legal size right there, but just yeah. a nice well-built fish. Ooh, nice. Rob, look at this. I think I got another walleye. Well, oh, oh no. <laughs> no, it's a crappie. A big old crappie. Is it weird that there, I just caught a crappie with all these walleyes around? Well, I think these holes is where your dad got yeah. crappie earlier. Oh, but, yeah, uh, he did get a big one. Been marking fish at all different depths. Well, obviously, that's what yeah. these are. So, that's get a nice one. crappie. 
that. Another one. Nicely done. This is awesome. I don't know if it's a walleye. Oh, or... another crappie. Ooh. There you go. This must be a little school of crappies over here. Well, what's really interesting, folks, when you're jigging for crappies in deep yep. water like this and we're in 21 feet, yeah. um, you really look for them anywhere in the water column. But what's unusual today, yeah. these fish are right on the bottom, aren't they? Yeah, you really, with the cast master, you really have to pound the bottom. Pound, 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 lift maybe a centimeter up. It, and that's, and th that's when they hit. They're, yeah. They must be really, you know, hiding at the bottom. So. Well, you know, you just caught these two in yeah. a row here. And, um, you know, okay, they been, got a flag up over there. Oh, they really? haven't set the hook yet. I have been marking this fish for five minutes, no joke. Okay. Thank goodness we have those hummingbirds. Can you imagine if we did it? No, you'd be just fishing here blind. I know. I well, love they got my... a flag behind us, so I hurry up, hurry Ooh, up. Oh, there you go. Nice. Hey, is that we'll illegal? measure that one. That's pretty yeah. close to legal. Yeah, that the is. The big a... cast master, huh? Yep, but yeah, like I said, five minutes. I've been, oh, there's another one down there. Do you see well, that? Well, hurry up, okay, get that okay. one off and go back down. I'm going to go see this guy. They've got a flag over All here. All right, go get it. Mike, your son Dylan's got another one on here, buddy. We're catching crappies out there, you guys. Let's see here. Ooh, nice walleye. There we hey, go. Oh, nice. Hey, nice job, Dylan. Are you enjoying the day, buddy? Oh, yeah. You enjoying the freezing rain that we're having? I'm just loving it. <laughs> are you? Hey, Rob, want to mention, though, you know, folks want to come up here. You know, February and March are great months. And, you know, March, you got some great pan fishing through the ice up here. But uh, great place to stay is St. Germain Lodge, which you own. And Fibber's Restaurant is right there, too. It's all connected together. And if folks stay at your resort, you help out a little bit on fishing oh, spots? Oh, sure, yeah. No, you're, if you're staying out by us and one of the customers, sure, of course, I'm going to help you out the best I can. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, you get into that time of the year, you know, it's all weather related, but, sure. uh, you know, I have a good idea what's going on in all the lakes at that time, so. Rob, here we go. Rob, come on over here, buddy. Look at this. Ooh, okay, I got, <laughs> ooh, I got myself a crop eye. There we go. Look at that. And and they're really nicely built fish, too. Take a look at where that cast master is, folks. Yeah, it's down his throat. Isn't it? And uh, I was mar when you mark two at a time, they seem to hit. You know what I mean? Right? Yeah. And that's that little rattle master. Do you think that rattle helps? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah it calls oh, them in. in. Yeah. Hey, 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 here we go. We got ourselves another crappie right after Blake's. Now, that one's not as big, folks, but these fish are getting really, really aggressive right now. And uh, Blake's got uh, catching them, I'm catching them, and Rob is drilling a hole with the jiffy to get right in between us here. That's a nice crappie, too. Yeah, bring yours over. That's a dandy. Hold that one Look up. Look at this one. That's... They must be stacked because there's one after another. See, you're still jigging and we're I know, I don't want, yeah. <laughs> no, they come, when you, when you, like I said to Rob, when you mark two, they bite, you know? Hey, you know, a fun day of fishing, but we got some ice rain that's happening right now. So if you don't mind, I'm going to stay at your resort at St. Germain Lodge tonight. And uh, I wouldn't mind catching a few more crappies in the morning. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You know, I mean, you know, I, I got to get out of here around 11 in the morning, but we can catch a few, can't we? Yeah, we'll give it a good shot. Yeah, no, we can go try some other areas since we found them out in this mud, you know, and I duplicate think... the pattern and probably catch some fish. Breaking news from Fleet Farm, check out this deal. A three pack of Flicker Shads, size five or seven, just $7.99. A three pack of Flicker Shads, just $7.99. Hey, Jocko Jackson, you're one of the all time greats. You know that, buddy? Thanks, John. Glad you, to be here. You cannot eat that yet. I gotta tell you what it is, okay? You're teasing me, okay. you're teasing me. When you got a cold, damp, Windy day on the ice, you gotta have a hot lunch, and Johnsonville makes the best hot lunch of all. What we have today is Johnsonville Better with Cheddars. Now, these are pre cooked, uh, they're actually smoked premium cuts of pork, and then Johnsonville stuffs them with, with Wisconsin cheddar cheese. Nice thing is, Kenny, all you gotta do is put them on the grill for four or five minutes. I like them a little charred, you know? Okay, you can take a bite, buddy. Johnsonville better with cheddars. Tremendous, John. Tremendous. Oh, thanks, Jocko. No, those are really good, aren't they, buddy? They are. They are full of cheddar cheese. Folks, look for better with cheddars at your favorite retailer today.
Johnson Pump makes the best aeration systems in the world. In fact, most major boat manufacturers exclusively use Johnson Pump aeration systems. Johnson Pump also makes portable aeration kits. It's like having a bait shop right along with you. Our exclusive tiny bubbles stay longer in the water, providing more oxygen while removing harmful carbon dioxide. That keeps your expensive live bait frisky and ready to catch more fish. Johnson Pump aeration systems, great for your bucket, cooler, or boat. And, and remember, remember folks, get Johnson Pump. Pump. What lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets. No more guesswork. Just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbirds. Yes, folks, it was kind of fun last night. We found that school of crappies, so we decided to stay overnight and, uh, and, and try to get those fish again today. But that was kind of interesting last night, Rob. Right towards the end, we found that school of crappies, and that's where we returned today to see if we can get a few more of those, right? Right, yeah, and we got quite a few more guys today, too. So, you know, we'll have every, every spot covered right here, and, you know, hopefully we'll get into them, especially right away this morning. So your guide customers don't mind if I bum along, huh? Uh, I don't think so. They seem all pretty happy. Okay, we'll get some crappies then. Well, w what did that take? Two minutes? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Not. I don't know. That is so cool, man. Oh, nice crappie. Hold them up. Yeah, that, those are nice fish. And you know, it was kind of interesting yesterday. We drilled just a ton of holes with that jiffy to find the, you know, and the fish were moving a little bit. Right. So you got to keep up with them, right? If they leave your hole, move to another hole. Yeah, and you know, and that fish was about six feet off the bottom. Oh, he right? was. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, the big flounder's got one on. All right, flounder dude. And half hour show. Oh, that's Whoa, whoa get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nicely done, buddy. Oh, there, hold him up. Hold him out so the folks at home can see him. Those are nice eaters, aren't yeah, they? Are. And yep. where are you from, flounder? Sheboygan Falls. Sheboygan, that's where jimmies are made. And Johnsonville. And Johnsonville, <laughs> you're right, buddy. Nice crappie, man. Oh, yeah, come, on, come, on, come, on, come on, there you go. Oh, whoa. Oh. No, that is not a teensy one. That is a actually eater. the perfect eater size right there. What yeah. we like to do when we talk about it all the time, yeah. release, uh, you know, the 11, 12, 13s yep. and, and keep these nines. Yeah, you know? that's a good fish. Yep. And the guys that are with us today want to keep a few. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> well, let's see here. I'm not fishing anymore. Just walking <laughs> around and watching you guys. Let's see what we got here. You got them all tangled oh. up there in your locator there. And let's see, here we go. Come on, get them up, get them up. Ooh, that's a nice one. Isn't that a gorgeous yeah. fish? Nice. Now, where right. was he? Was he on the bottom? Uh, he came up off the bottom, actually, yeah. Oh, he did come off the he bottom. Did come off the bottom. It's so, if yeah. it, you would not catch these fish without a locator. Some are coming right. in high, some low. Absolutely. Yeah, nice. that's actually a perfect eater, too. Awesome. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2020 Fishing Contest. Test. Kevin Stenzel of Danbury, Wisconsin, caught this 26-inch bass in Florida on a shiner. Tony Polkowski of Sparta, Wisconsin, caught this 14-inch perch on Lake Onalaska on plastic. Wendy Hines of Fond du Lac boated this beautiful 29-inch walleye on Lake of the Woods on a Castmaster. Tom Busson Sr. of Grove Heights, Minnesota, caught this 42-inch pike on Lake of the Woods on a jig. And this week's kids winners are Amelia Tush of Amherst caught this 11-inch bluegill in Portage County on a fly, and Mason Marchand of Chillicothe, Illinois caught this 26-inch walleye on Otter Tail Lake on a shiner. I go to Fleet Farm every week to find the hot new deals. Check out what I found this week. $3 off the Suffolk's Advanced Floral Carbon Fishing Line on sale starting at $16.99. And save $10 on the Zebco Propel Baitcast Reel on sale for $29.99. Now I can walk over to Flounder. He's got another one on. Now, yeah, hold on. You, you're good at this TV thing. You know, you just hold them out. And the further you hold them out, the, what? Bigger, they look. the bigger they look. Yeah. 
Okay, buddy, I'm going to drill a hole right Ooh. next to you. You got it. Come and on hold over. them up. Now, come on, you know the program. Oh, you're using a little Castmaster, little orange guy there. Orange and gold. Yeah, those are good little baits, aren't they? Yep, work great. Flounder, flounder, flounder. Ooh. Now, you, you were telling me that you're actually fishing towards the bottom? Yep, they come right up the bottom. That's cool. I'm, I guess I'm jigging too high. And you know what was interesting? When we were on these fish last night, they were all real tight to the bottom, yep. too. Yeah. And then the first couple we caught today, though, were six feet up. So I guess you got to keep an eye yeah. on your locator. Got to keep you know? moving. Yep. Woo, we got one. Ooh, that's a nice one. And what's your name? Chris. Where are you from? Sheboygan. Nice. And thank you for letting us join you today. Sure, no problem. How far up was he? He was about four feet off the bottom. Well, it looks like, oh, and on the tongues are nicely done. <laughs> this is fun, folks. Ooh, now there is a nice crappie. And again, you know what we did yesterday, you know, we did the walleye deal and caught a few walleyes and whatnot, but finding those crappies last night and being able to come back on them again today because we just put an icon on, uh, on our uh, hummingbird and uh, came back to the exact same spot. There we go. Here by yourself. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. Nice one. Nicely done, buddy. Hey, I like your outfit here, Thanks. the ice armor stuff. How do you like that? Oh, I really like it a lot. Do you? Really like it Have a lot. Have you had it a while? Yeah, I had a couple of years, and it really paid off yesterday with all the rain that we were having. And oh, the, the waterproof. Yeah, yeah. Real waterproof. Hold that out there. That's a nice one, buddy. <laughs> I got a good hole here. Yeah, here you he do. Comes. A lot of moving around. There we go. Ooh, nicely done. That's, that's a decent fish. Now, that's an eater right yeah. there. And uh, I had two at a time. Yeah. You get two at a time I in your hole, that. then they bite, you know. Hey, Pete, on behalf of the St. Germain Chamber of Commerce, yeah. I want to congratulate well, you. Well, thanks very much, John. You are the new owner of Ray's Landing Bait Shop, and right. uh, this is the bait shop I've been shopping at for many years, but you're really experienced in the area, and you got great live bait. Well, we've got great live bait, and we've got great guides around the area here between Rob and Kenny taking you guys out, and, uh, and that's so we're blessed to have, you know, some of the best area in the Northwoods to come to for fishing. And I want to mention one thing, folks, folks, if you're coming up to St. Germain, you not only sell bait, but you provide information for your Absolutely. customers. Absolutely, yeah. We try our best to, to keep people up to date on what's going on in the Northwoods and, uh, you know, where the fish are biting. Acme's expanding their tungsten jig series. We have a brand new hammered finish series. Three colors, gold plated, chrome plated, and copper plated. What I love about these jigs, they throw off a lot of flash. Check them all out at acmetackle.com. Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. From the kennel to the coop, whatever the season, Fleet Farm has everything to keep your animals happy and healthy. Whether you're getting them through the winter season, mastering those retrieval skills season, or wondering who takes care of who season, there's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it, because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Hey, some fun fishing, buddy. We caught, what did we catch? We caught walleyes, we caught crappies, uh, small northern pike that we didn't film, and I caught a sucker that we didn't film. <laughs> no, it was a lot of fun. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah, and we'll be coming up soon. Maybe we'll have open water in May, right? I hope we have open water in April. Yeah, right, and get rid of some of the snow, right? Yeah. You need that. All right. That is our show for today, folks. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. Fishing man is everything done here. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs>